now we are going to a question is over now we are going to solve the b question so what is this question n plus 12 okay n plus 12 you can get what 20 for n is equal to 12 so lhs is equal to n lhs this is a lhs and this is a rhs okay so n plus 12 you can get is lhs n plus 12 is equal to left hand side and 20 is a right hand side for n is equal to 12 left hand side is equal to you have to substitute the value of n is equal to 12 12 plus 12 you can get 24 so what 24 is not equal to 20 so not equal to rhs it is not a 12 is not a solution okay next one is okay this is wrong solution first one and second one for n is equal to 12 lhs is equal to n plus 12 so n is the what is the value of n 12 sorry what is the n plus 12 sorry here yeah. so 8 n n values n plus 12 is a question so n substitution value of n is equal to 8 so 8 plus 12 so 8 plus 12 what you get 20 this is left hand side uh, once it is right hand side is also 20 so 20 is equal to 20 so left hand side is equal to right hand side so this is the 8 is the right answer for the question 8 is a right we got the answer because for n is equal to 8 this is the solution of n so you have to substitute the value of n is equal to 8 okay so left hand side is equal to n plus 12 you can substitute the value of n in the particular place 8 so 8 plus 12 you can get what 20 so 20 in the left hand side and our right hand side is also 20 so both are equal so left hand side is equal to our right hand side is equal to e equal so this is the 8 is the solution of this 8 is a solution that is what I circle it so pick out the solution from this bracket 8 is a solution n value is equal to what 8 n value is equal to what n value is equal to 8 is the right answer for the question but anyhow we have to um, remaining uh, solution also we have to analyze for n is equal to 20 left hand side is equal to what is this n plus 12 so substitute the value of n is equal to 20 20 plus 12 you can get 32 not equal to rhs this is not a solution third is not a solution and fourth one for n is equal to 0 left hand side is equal to n plus 12 in the substitution of n is equal to 0 0 plus 12 you can get 12 so not equal to rhs so this is also not a solution for n so solution of n is equal to nothing but 8 so from this bracket n is equal to 8 so b answer is nothing but 8 is the right answer okay so here m is equal to 12 here n is equal to 8 here m is equal to 12 is the right answer here n is equal to 8 is the right answer for the question i think so you understand the concept but simply you can say it it is this a sum i solved it phi m is equal to 60 so you need m so 60 this multiplication 5 into m so you need only m so this multiplication term is go to the opposite direction 60 divided by 5 so 60m is equal to 60 this 5 is go to the opposite direction so it becomes what division 60 is divided by 5 1 5 are 5 6 minus 5 1 you have to bring down the 0 5 2s are 10 10 minus 10 you can get sorry 10 minus 10 you can get 0 so the answer is 12 so m answer is what m is 12 so a question answer is 12 is the right answer this is the very shortest method and the b question is here i am going to solve this is one more method n plus 12 is equal to 20 so you need n so what are you going to do so n this plus 12 is go to the opposite direction when n is equal to 20 this plus 12 is go to the opposite direction this plus 2 will become n plus 12 is equal to 20 is a question it's the shortest method this is a one more method i'm telling you it's a very simple method also n plus 12 is equal this is a very long process method i'm going to teach a very simple method n plus 12 is equal to 20 so you have to find out the value of n so this plus 2 is go to the opposite direction so n is equal to 20 this plus 2 is go to the opposite direction mean this plus 2 becomes minus 12 so n is equal to 20 minus 12 20 minus 12 so what are you going to do 20 minus 12 0 minus 2 it can't subtract so you have to borrow from here so 1 10 minus 2 8 1 minus 1 0 0 cancel the 0 the n is equal to 8 so what is the value of n n is equal to 8 is a right answer this is a very simplest method so no need to so complicate but this is the cbse pattern exactly you have to um, exactly you 
exactly in the book so that is what i teach a very long process method but this is a very simplest method this a sum and this b sum as a simplest method also i taught so which one is convenience for you you can choose any one of this method and also six standard cbse max six standard cbse syllabus is entirely over and watch the videos and subscribe the channels and uh, give uh, if you like the channel you subscribe more and more and suggest your friends also thank you so much